Senate Republicans have elected a new leader, Senator John Thune of South Dakota, the person who will be critical to President-elect Donald Trump's agenda getting through Congress. And after last week's elections, Republicans will now control the House, the Senate, and the White House. Washington correspondent Vinay Simlot explains the new leadership's priorities. For the first time in nearly two decades, someone other than Mitch McConnell will lead Senate Republicans. We have the team assembled. After Republicans flipped the Senate last week, Senator John Thune from South Dakota won the secret election to be the next Senate Majority Leader. He beat out Senator Rick Scott from Florida, a favorite of Trump supporters including Elon Musk and Texas Senator John Cornyn. We've done many bipartisan things here in the Senate together. And I hope that continues. The next test for the new Republican majority approving President-elect Trump's nominations for his incoming administration. In a post on Truth Social, Trump asked Republican senators to help him bypass the Senate confirmation process for his administration's nominees. Thune would not rule it out. We're going to look at uh, explore all options to make sure that they get moved and that they get moved quickly. On the House side, Republicans are also voting on a new conference chair after President-elect Trump chose Elise Stefanik to serve as U.N. ambassador. Trump met with House Republicans on Wednesday, endorsing Speaker Mike Johnson to continue in that role. Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene tried to oust him earlier this year, but now says she'll vote for Johnson. There's no one uh, else that I know of running for speaker. The new Congress is expected to be sworn in on January 3rd. In Washington, I'm Vinay Simlot.